Welcome to Tech and Tesla Sweden. I'm gonna summarize the best things with the Mercedes EQE 53 AMG. It's a long name. But first, just a reminder to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. So let's have a look inside the car. This one has the hyper screen, uh, which is amazing. I mean, I really love it. I don't know if it's worth the money. It's uh, like 9,500 uh, euros extra. That's a hefty uh, price tag for a bigger screen. The original one, the standard one, is, is uh, pretty big too. It's, it's more or less in the middle. And when it comes to interior quality, uh, this is a Mercedes and you, you feel it. Uh, the build quality is great. I mean, it almost feels like the EQS. You have great materials soft touch uh, this may feel a little bit plasticky but uh, otherwise it's uh, it feels great you have uh, uh, a charging dock or a qi charger for your phone you also have some nice usb-c ports uh, and, uh, and of course two cup holders if you want to drink drink something so this is one of my top picks of the car it's the rear is the backup camera it moves when you turn the steering wheel so for instance we're gonna back in here to the right you see the camera uh, you see the part down here it moves and if I turn it back uh, you see isn't that cool so it's probably both hardware and software doing that but for me it's clear that it's not only software, it's, only, it's also hardware moving around the camera. That's a cool thing. So head-up display, that's one of my favorite, favorite things in this, in this car. One of the favorite features and functions. I really miss this one in my Tesla Model Y. I think skip the instrument cluster, just give me a head-up display and I will be happy. Because this one shows you speed, speed limits safety features and safety warnings like uh, you, you're closing into a crossing uh, it also gives you driving instructions i mean i see both where to go uh, which direction to turn i see the the distance to next to the next action uh, and this together with the sound instructions I think that's the perfect tool for driving. You don't need anything else and it looks great. I mean, it feels like it is like placed three or four meters in front of the car, not in the glass. Uh, it's in color, uh, it's sharp and it's good. Good work. Another thing I love with this car is the rear wheel steering. I mean, you can drive around on this parking lot all day because the rear wheel axle is helping you turning around so it, the, sh the turns is more sharper and the car feels a lot more nimble uh, so the rear wheel axle turns 3.6 percent on this car uh, it doesn't sound so much but it is it actually feels a lot when you drive around the car feels a lot smaller and a lot more nimble uh, and this also helps you in higher speeds but then the the rear wheel axle turns in the same direction as, as the front wheels to help the car move better. This is a great feature. Uh, the driving dynamics, it's both uh, comfy, I mean the suspension is good, now it's in sport mode, it's, it's not too hard. And then if you put it in, in comfort, uh, the air suspension really softens and uh, uh, get a lot more comfortable so we can drive it on long long trips uh, really well the car handles good you feel that it is heavy but uh, I mean you you can handle it uh, and then the torque and the, the power actually compensates for that uh, you feel the 2.6 tons though but the, the punch you get when you press it, when you floor it, it's amazing. I mean, it's almost as immediate uh, as in the, the 
Model Y performance or in the Model 3 performance. But it, it's even faster than the Model Y performance. It's uh, almost on, on par with the Model 3 performance, but this is a bigger and much heavier car, so a lot more torque and horsepower on this one. So I really love the driving the dynamics. You get a AMG car that actually works in the all day life. I mean, it's the perfect combination, at least for me. I don't want this too sporty car. This one is a perfect mix between, between sportiness and comfort. You can use it uh, exactly as a comfortable uh, long-range car but at the same time you have this whoo -hoo, the roaring the roaring sound and you can change the sounds of course so if I if I move it to the comfort uh, it's a different character and you see it also changes the sound so now it's no sound at all, sound at all. it's just cuts the, the interior artificial sounds uh, and just keep the car silent and the suspension got, it gets a lot more softer. So, dynamics on my top spot for this car. It's great. A brief summary. I really miss the car. I'm back in the Model Y performance. Uh, I mean, I love this car, but uh, the, the EQE is another type of car. Uh, and you really see the German brand, the German uh, blood running through the veins of that car the interior quality the interior design the layout it's amazing the the components uh, i mean all the materials the soft touch things uh, it's a great car and you see that they have put in a lot of effort in the in the interior i mean if you just look at the, the ambient lighting it's it's another level. I mean, I think Mercedes is probably the best car brand in the world to do interior ambient lighting. I mean, it's light everywhere. Uh, sometimes a bit too much, maybe, but I really love it. Uh, another thing is the the hyperscreen. I mean, the cockpit, you really feel that you are in charge, that you have all the information you need. They have really worked with the graphics, the animations, the sounds, the sound effects, the driving sound effect, everything, everything is really thought through and nicely designed. So great job. Uh, another thing is all the technology. It's packed with the technology, the, the hyper screen, the heads up display. I mean, you can, you can remove the instrument cluster, only have a head up display because the head up display and this car is, it's another level. Uh, it's German. It's obviously German. Uh, the backup camera, I mean, it's, it's not super special, but it's another level when it comes to the backup camera and to the, to the hardware and the technology uh, in general. Uh, you have, on top of that, you have this kind of real, rear rear wheel steering it's hard to pronounce for me rear wheel steering it makes the car feel smaller uh, it makes it a bit more easy to drive and the performance i mean it's a performance car it's not a track car that's that's clear it's too heavy and too big to be a track car you don't have that kind of handling on this car but you have the straight line performance you have the horsepower you have the power, the performance that you need as a family father. So it's a perfect family car. The boot space a little bit is a little small, but all in all, you have a luxury car with a great ride comfort. The ride quality is, is very nice. Despite these big wheels, you still have good comfort and uh, the soundproofing is great. Uh, it's a little bit it's a bit better than uh, in this Model Y performance. Uh, it's not a very big difference, but but a little bit. Uh, and of course, a lot is uh, depending on the wheel size you have. But great comfort. So you have the comfort and you have the performance. 
So it's the perfect family car. Uh, I really recommend it. But uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, that will help me to help you with more content. So nice to speak to you. See you soon.